Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Omnus and today I have the top 10 Kiss songs for you. Uh, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of Kiss. I do like some of their records. I like the debut. I like um, what's the other record called again? Um, Love Gun. I like that album. Uh, oh, that one. Oh, like it's really overrated. Like it's solid, but it's not like amazing. It's just pretty good. A Creatures of the Night, yeah, that that's a good one. Um, did I say the debut already? Probably. I really like the debut. Uh, yeah, so those are pretty much my favorite Kiss records. Um, yeah, uh, you know, there we go. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of them. I like uh, Detroit Rock City, which might top the list. Uh, probably Rock and Roll, you know, the Rock and Roll song, uh, Rock and Roll Party Every Night or something. Some, something between those lines, you know, which, which song I mean, which song, um, what else is gonna be on there, Love Gun, probably, uh, yeah, I, spoiler alert, I've already seen the list, so I know it, but so I'm not gonna spoil everything if you haven't seen it already, uh, yeah, so there we go, 4.2 million views, that's quite some for a hard rock band, so there we go, but I mean, Kiss is a gimmick, so of course they're gonna get views, uh, Detroit Rock City? Digga digga, digga digga, digga 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 digga. Oh no no, Love Gun. I haven't listened to Kiss in a while, so shut up. Not a huge fan, but I like some other songs. Detroit Rock City, that's a classic. Yeah, Strutter, Black Gin, uh, Black Diamond. Does it black gin? Or just gin? I believe it's just gin and black diamond. There we go. I like I, I like the whole debut all. Like it's pretty good. Oh yeah, and a destroyer of course, a uh, god of thunder. Covered by uh, death actually on human. If you didn't know that. I'm pretty sure I haven't reacted to this yet, but I've seen it already quite some, so... Yeah, Kiss in Symphony, what was up with that? Like, what the fuck? Like, if two things don't mix with each other, it's Kiss with a Symphony. I mean, they're a hard rock shock band or something. Like, they're a gimmick band. It doesn't blend in with a Symphony, I mean, come on. Really brought out the band's theatrical back in the day. Hint, hint, hang it up, kiss, hang it up. What do you? What is the voice though? It's kind of, kind of distorted voice that he has, Gene Simmons. By the way, I had Gene Simmons, but this is a good song. Number nine, God gave rock and roll to you too. That one. Like it's not even original, like. Uh, the first one came from a movie, I'm pretty sure, a movie soundtrack, and they just covered it and called it a part two, sure. Like, it's exactly the same, I'm pretty sure it's with some lyrics. Like, this one has lyrics and the other one is an instrumental, I'm pretty sure. The soundtrack. Originally found on the Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey soundtrack. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that they just kind of played it. And that's Kiss just gave it a title, I'm pretty sure. This five and a half minute rocker is also... Or well, probably had a title to that point. I, I don't fucking know. Of Kiss's early 90s record. Like, if they didn't call it that, you can't call it a part two. You just you rename it, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Number eight. Within the top 10 like Revenge is a pretty heavy album though. I think it's solid for what it is. It's probably the best. It's probably the less quality Kiss album though. Probably. The single proved the band was far from finished making rock and roll hits. Like it's kind of like a, a later rock and roll party all night song. How is this song called? Par, uh, rock and roll all night party every day. Something like that. This is the obvious number one uh, pick. Like, it's not even that good, but it's their most popular song, so. Like, I never got into that song, honestly. It's just a bit too generic for me. Is 
also notable for its memorable chorus, and Simmons and Paul Stanley sharing lead vocal duties. I like this uh, last part right here. I mean, Paul Stanley is kind of a cock rock dude, but he has some good vocals. I have to give the guy credit where it's due. Eight, forever. Hold on the shade. Arguably one of the worst albums out there, ever. It's pretty bad. Although Forever is, I do like Forever though, it's kind of a guilty pleasure. Ah, you know, I like this song. It's good. It's on what? Well, it might be, one, might be one of my favorites though, since I'm a big fan of kids, but I do like this power battle right here, if you can call it that. Taken off the band's 15th studio album, Forever became. Hint, hint, hang it up, kids. 15th studio album, holy oh, shit. But I believe they already did multiple uh, final final ending tours and shit like that, so maybe they're really gonna quit, I don't know. I wouldn't mind, honestly. I guess it's always a pretty average rock band, I would say. Number seven, Beth. Well, we could have also chosen Hard Luck Woman. They're probably one of the most overrated bands out there. I do like them, but I don't know. I just don't, don't think they... Why are they that popular though? Just because of the face paint? Is it really just that? Beth shows off the band's softer side in terms of lyrical content and musical style. I do like the piano on the song, it's pretty emotional. The vocals are kind of questionable, but the piano is a nice touch. <laughs> it's kind of a half-assed vocal delivery, but... Oh yeah, I'll, yeah, I love this song, I love this song. That's called... Yeah, this is a classic. Although they kind of look disgusting right now, like Gene Simmons especially. He looks like an obese cow. Oh, the what the fuck? This energetic number with their fellow rockers in mind. And hoped they would shout it out. I do like this riff right here. Oh well, in a bit. Considering its status as a concert staple, I want to say it's Ace Frehley, but I'm pretty sure Ace was long gone after that. Not at Destroyer era, but in the 90s he was long and gone. Uh, Love Gun, I'm pretty sure. Number five, yeah. Love Gun. Like, I'm not a big fan of Kiss, but these are the songs. These are the, these are the big songs. Kiss has also made their mark on the music world thanks to their successful blend of hard rock and heavy metal. And according to Stanley, there are few Kiss songs that represent the band's sound, as well as the title track to their sixth ever. Penned by Chris, Love Gun continues to be incorporated into the band's live sets today and has been covered by multiple artists and appeared in various media formats. What do I get a Bambi advert? What the fuck? <laughs> Large the the fucking pop merchandising site who sells you know shirts and music and hard rock and metal music. Pretty much the the loud wire of merchandise, I would say. Um, they have a ba they have a fucking Bambi uh, fucking shirt for sale. Like what the fuck? Long sleeve. Why? Uh, Strutter. Number four, Strutter. 
Like, there should be more self-titled on the list though, and for this. As the opening track of their self-titled debut, this fast guitar-centric rocker served as an introduction to Kiss's music. Strutter. Co-written by Simmons and Stanley. Strutter failed to chart, of course. but it's still a band favorite. Oh, you said maybe. Baby! Using hard rock and so cheesy, but it was. The three minute number was often played in concerts during the band's early years. I was made for loving you. Number three, I was made for loving you. I didn't even call this one. Like it's one of their biggest. It's it is pretty much their biggest hit. So kind of strange I didn't say it. With its distinctive guitar riff and catchy chorus, this Dynasty song became a hit with fans and critics alike. Dynasty is a pretty mediocre record, but it has this song going for it, which is nice. This band is legendary. No said. I'm already reading the comments. It also topped multiple charts around the world. Though its success and disco elements caused some fans to accuse Kiss of selling out. The song's popularity cannot be denied. Plus, a more rocking rendition of the track is often incorporated into live shows. Like uh, Paul Stanley put on a fucking shirt, mate. Like a jean does. That was my old place. Uh, Detroit Rock City is next, which is pretty much my favorite Kiss song. Such a rocking tune, man. Detroit Rock City. Like whenever they do that, the, the pointing finger thing. Easily one of the group's most iconic songs. This tune is a powerhouse of the band's signature sound. Life death of a KISS fan, Detroit Rock City still manages to rock hard and loud. The Stanley Penn track may not have charted, but it continues to be a fan favorite of the pop appearances as well. Uh, lick it up. Honorable mentions. Uh, yeah, lick it up and unholy from lick it up and revenge, respectively. I was kind of sleeping for a bit. Calling Doctor Love, rock and roll over. There's pretty much. Any, you know, anything pre-revenge is pretty good. I love it loud, Creature of the Night. It's such an overrated record on It's a good record, but so overpraised. It's a decent record from an otherwise pretty mediocre band, I'm going to Night, party every day. Number one, this song. Rock and roll all night. Yeah, that one. Night with N-I-T-E. Instead of you know G H T, like what? When you think of Kiss, there's a very good chance. Of like yeah, we're well, hard rockers. We don't know how to spell. You know, same thing as the Strokes. Uh, last night, yeah, last night. Which is a way better show, mind you. But. Nature, the Dress to Kill single helped the band capture the excitement at their live like, in the studio. I'm pretty sure I've never completely listened to the song fully, but I never have to hear it again. That's how tiresome it is on me like i'm pretty sure i've never sat down to it and actually listened to like a studio version of the song or a live version for that matter but i just heard snippets of it because it's such a mainstream song that's how much i don't well i don't mind um well, what's the thing i don't mind rock and roll all night because it's just a generic hard rock anthem 
It's catchy though, but it's so boring. Doubt you want to rock and roll all night and party every day with Kiss over No. Like, I get, I, I get why you say that, you know, someone is holding a paycheck in front of you, but no. No one wants to party every day with Kiss. That would be fucking tiresome. I might want to spend one day with Kiss or something when I'm like uh, drunk out of my mind or something, but outside of that, no. Pop culture appearances as well. Oh shit. Thanks to its loud anthemic nature, the Dress to Kill single helped the band. Oh, Spotify's fucking annoying. It just freezes on me all the time. I want, I, I want to add Bloodbath to my li library, but it doesn't work. That was a bit better. Rock and roll all night and party every day with Kiss over nah. and over again. Come on, come on, a party every day. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite Kiss song? Yeah, oh, an advert, nice. Fuck off. I would bang that chick though. I would bang her. Would you bang this up? Damn, boy. Silver pass. I'm gonna I'm gonna shout you out hoe. You're gonna you're gonna appear right in front of my screen. I'm gonna call you a hoe or a dirty ass hoe. Or fuck. A bitch or a dirty ass hoe. There we go. I'm gonna call you a bitch or a dirty ass hoe. Find a good piece of pussy and go up in it. Nice. Yeah, go away, bitch, I'm bored. Like if you're gonna interrupt my video, I'm gonna call your name, so I'm gonna come on now. I like this groove right here though, it's a good groove. There we go. Yeah, the song is overplayed as shit, but I kinda dig it. I kinda like it. Uh, yeah, so overall, I'm not a huge Kiss fan. I like some of their songs, I like some of their albums, but overall... Yeah, I mean, if they would retire now, then I wouldn't mind, honestly. Like, I, I, I would say, you know, they had a good run. They, they did what they did for the music industry, and that's kind of it, honestly. Uh, yeah, I wanted to remove... Is it still on here, though? Yeah, probably. Yeah, um, you have no idea what I'm talking about, so there we go, so I'm not gonna talk to you on that. Um, my top, I was made for loving you, rock and roll all night, love it loud, forever. <laughs> like, the top four is basically uh, the most normy top four ever, forever, I love it loud, rock and roll all night, and I was made for loving you. So, that's, that's the most entry level ever, like, fucking hell. Why is Sure know something so underrated? Because no one knows it. Black Diamond should be at least in the top five. Black Diamond is an amazing song. Like that, that is pretty much my favorite Kiss song right there. Yeah, this list is not complete without Black Diamond. Like more, more from the debut, please. More, more from the debut album. Kiss is my favorite band. Sucks to be you. Where the fuck is Sure know something? I don't know. I love it loud. Is a necessity. All right. I love I was made for loving you, yeah. So uh, Paul Stanley is my hero. Uh, yeah, he is pretty, pretty much my favorite Kiss member because he's still in the band and Gene is a fucking douchebag. So you don't really have a lot of choice, but there we go. You know, you can say Ace Frehley or uh, Peter Chris, but I don't know. Paul Stanley was always my, always my favorite, but there we go. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, comments are not really that interesting, so I'm gonna end it there. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what would you pick in the comments down below. You know your your favorite Kiss songs, your favorite Kiss albums. Do you like the band? Do you hate the band? Let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.